All right, we good? Sorry. All right, All ladies right. and gentlemen, we're back once more. Uh, Boyd obviously sent down onto the main stage, uh, busting out the Pichu. We've seen this character from him time and time again. Very, very strong, very, very evasive, very nimble, obviously very to the point and pristine. But Incineroar certainly cut from a much different cloth on the other end of the meta here in Smash Ultimate. This character's main objective is and to And it's not whoop ass. just any Incineroar. Sorry to cut you off. This is Brandon. He Brandon. Yeah, he recently started attending Ultimate Tournaments in NorCal and is already in contention as top five in NorCal. He came into this tournament virtually unseated, already took out Con Con to make it to Void, and already taking out that first stock within 30 seconds. I'm I like, so hyped. I like Brandon because Brandon is my little brother's name. Ooh. And so, yeah, so I, I like him by default. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if he likes these down tilt forward airs and back airs. You better watch yourself. Puts the toes on him. That's Toby Bryant. All right, all right. Great comeback by Void, but Void's got to be so careful, especially given Incineroar's power and how light his character is. At 60%, he's basically at death percent anywhere on the level. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Okay, getting some very quick and easy for say here on Incineroar. Incineroar, very easy guy to combo. Okay, nice. And snaps the legs. Oh, goes through the platform, too. Some very sneaky stuff. Uh-uh, get that out of here. Brandon more than ready to deal with a lot of these shenanigans. He regularly has to fight Mudomo, another Pichu from NorCal, the one that just took out Zack uh, in a comeback on the other stream. That's right, we see Mudomo play at, um, at the Progressive Tournament out there. Though the back throw nearly doing the trick. Brandon's okay. not letting up for a single moment, gets back on stage, is not afraid to press buttons either, just showing Void that he has to respect the weight and power of Incineroar, but Void finding himself that DI read off the up throw, finding himself the Black Thunder into another KO. And that was a really awkward spot for him to be in because Brandon got hit with that Thunder Jump, which kind of made him turn backwards. I don't know what that was about, but I seen forward tilt come out. The minute that forward tilt came out, Void took clear advantage of that miss input. Don't tell him! Oh, Black Thunder, okay. What? God dang. Void answering back with ferocity, getting Incineroar off stage, and then calling out the exact angle of Brandon's recovery and closing that stock out in a blink of an eye. Ordinarily, I'm used to seeing, you know, Incineroar do that to people, but you know, Pichu does it too, just as good. That's right. Scariest Pokemon battle out there. That's right, I would never want to fight Pichu, man, after this game. And it's actually crazy, like you would think when you evolve, you get better, but Pichu evolves this game into Pikachu and actually gets whacker. And I'm like, what the hell is this about? Uh, in, in Pokemon, if you don't level a Pokemon, right, if you don't evolve a Pokemon, they learn better moves earlier. Yeah. So Pichu is just learn better moves than Pikachu. And Pichu can learn, like, what, what can Pichu learn that Pikachu doesn't? Is it like, uh, is it Thunder Punch or something like that? Oh, I have no idea. It's, some, it's <laughs> something like that. Pikachu, Pichu can, if you breed two of the right Pikachus, Pichu can do something. I don't know. We'll leave the Pokemon for the Pokemon guy talk. In yeah. the meantime, though, let's go ahead and get back into this game, though, right here. Brandon certainly has some explaining to do, obviously dying the whole game, but still played that last game pretty well. He just had a couple missed inputs that you just cannot, uh, uh, you, you cannot take here versus Void. Void is obviously gonna take all missed inputs and all over extensions. He's gonna take, he's gonna run with it. Already Void doing such a great job showing the value of edge guarding Incineroar. The moment he gets him off stage, he's always out there, not only harassing, but harassing with something completely different. Oh no! Oh, just like that, the reverse edge guard coming out, the Alolan whip by Brandon. Just right. dealing that stock at 40%. Get nasty on him, man. Nice. Okay. I was supposed to right back to the stage. Get that Laird out of here. I'm tired of that. 
This that stuff right there by Void, man, gets the sour hit on the dare, man. Stands will clear off the right side of the screen. Yeah, that spacing by Void was so precise because the arms are invincible by Incineroar when he's spinning. He had to hit exactly Incineroar's head. Okay, couple up airs. Can he get three? Okay, doesn't quite get four. Kills the combo there with the down, uh, the down special. That was really smart, man. You want to make sure your combos are certainly confirmed versus Incineroar in the air because Incineroar's uh, aerial conversions turn into something deadly at these lower percents. Oh, yes. Have Void at 94%. We already know what Incineroar can do to this small animal if he can get his hands on him. But at the same point, we also know what Void can do if he manages to get back to center stage. So if Brandon's going to just hold on to this ledge instead and keep that from happening. Uh-huh. Okay, Thunder Jolts. Retreating Thunder Jolts as well, too. Understanding what's at stake here. Can't quite get the Thunder Jolt. Covers himself there with the Lariat, though, once more. Oh, don't ever whiff a grab, though, on P2. Are you crazy? Oh, yeah, you're getting punished, sir. Oh, this can be very nasty, especially at this angle. Oh, Boy, you're just dead. going out there. Yeah, with a single Damn. Nair. Lightest tap is all that Void needs. You Damn. Yourself. Yeah. That was just the softest Nair. Just does the trick. One more. Uh -oh. oh, goes for three up air. Smart. Goes for forward air afterwards. He's going to get the down throw right into the forward air uh, as well, too, man. And Cinder has some very good stuff at low percent that, you know, slowly but surely racks up a ton of damage over time, too. See, Incineroar, he's wa he wants you to fight up close and personal. He wants that fight. Yeah. If you give him that fight, chances are he's going to put the hands on you. That's a good okay. job putting so much pressure on that ledge. Sure, at the down tilt, then covered the roll. In that case, just needs the big toe to close out Brandon's winner, winner's my boy, run. My boy, Toby McGuire, put the toes on him. <laughs> Wait, is, uh... 